talk about books because um, I know this will probably be a bulk of what mm -hmm. we're talking about because there are no shortage of resources to talk about with biblical theology books. So let's kind of yeah. go three levels. Let's go beginner, intermediate, advanced. If you were recommending a book to somebody who says, yeah, I'm hooked, I want to learn more about biblical theology, where do I start? Give, give us a book or two. Yeah, so um, gosh, I'm currently collecting, I'm like hoarding biblical theology books for my dissertation. So, you know, trying to pick specific books was very difficult. But the first one is um, Biblical Theology in the Life of the Church. It's by Michael Lawrence. This book is really, really good. I I cannot, you know, just say enough about this book because what it does is Michael Lawrence masterfully makes biblical theology real and practical. Do you have that book too, Brad? Is that what you got right there? No, I was looking for <laughs> I got another book that I want to recommend and I don't want to forget it. I, I've, yeah. I've read that book before. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head where that one is. But yeah, I, I that's a the, one of the Nine Marks series. That's a yes, really good book. Yes, Nine Marks. And you know, Dever loves biblical theology. Yeah. So, and you know, the five parts of it basically are in section one is he goes exegetical tools. He talks about the grammatical historical method. So basically, what we talked about earlier with the hermeneutical spiral. And then he talks about biblical theology tools. And then he goes into systematic theology tools. And so he basically does what we've been talking about. He, he shows that biblical theology is extremely vital, but it's not to be alone. You need systematic as well. And yep. so this book is fantastic in giving you the tools and also just giving you, yeah, like I said, in the tools, um, one example of that is he just displays the covenants. He has a little um, chart in this book where he you know, shows the covenants and how they are super important to understanding um, God's overall redemptive story. And so that is, I would say this is a good, like, get your toes wet um, good, book. Yep, that is a good one. Um, so if you're going to go to the next level, um, I would say this here, According to Plan by Graham Yeah. Bolton. So this book, I was at TED's in a biblical theology class, and I remember picking this book up. I'm like, huh, I don't know. Let's see. You know, started to read it. Could not put it down. I mean, this book, Graham Goldsworthy just does a beautiful job of, painting the picture of the overall story of redemption. He basically talks about um, God making himself known, revealing himself to us through scripture. And um, yeah, I mean, the title is The Unfolding Revelation of God in the Bible. Yep. And it's just the, the biggest thing from that, talking about what we said before, how cool it is that God's word is so intrinsically unique. Well, he talks about how God used individual people, and he also sovereignly ordained events over time, you know, the Bible wasn't a compilation or isn't written in one time. It was over this long period of time to display this unified story. Yeah. You know, we talk about with Abraham. Well, I'm sure that when that was written, there was there wasn't a full comprehension. We know that there wasn't a full comprehension of what it was talking about. But then when Christ comes, then the comprehension is complete. But that was thousands of years. You know, it was a long time before that was fulfilled. And so. The revelation of God's word just speaks profoundly to its uniqueness. That's and, a very that's a very good book. Anything you know, by Graham Graham Goldsworthy, <laughs> I mean, very yeah. very good book. He is uh, definitely uh, a master of that. So that's that's I would say that's like the middle stage if you want to have something a little bit more um, advanced. And then finally, I would say that um, Gerhardus Voss, Biblical Theology. This yeah. book is it piggybacks off of Graham Goldsworthy because this is also about. Um, God revealing himself. Um, basically, it's a biblical theology of that, of God revealing himself, revelation. Um, but this one is way more advanced. It um, is way more advanced. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. is. It is, um, you know, basically in the beginning, in page, I think, three or something, Voss basically says that the definition of theology is the science concerning God. Yeah. And I will let you know he is not joking. <laughs> no, he's really not. He's really not. Uh, but he, I mean, I actually have a definition that he says. He says that, um, you know, revelation is the interpretation of redemption, which is really cool if you think yeah. about that. Um, so over time, what revelation is, is you're just understanding God's redemptive story even more. And that's revelation. Um, so this book is just really good for, honestly, even if you're a beginner and you're like, you know what, I can take it. I, I guarantee you can. Um, but... It's definitely one that I would say, you know, start with those first two and yeah. then build to it, because with those two as the bedrock, you'll you'll go very far with that. 